Right, this is one of my favourites. It's not a hawk moth, but I found, I've always wanted to find these in the world, and last year, just before we moved from Sussex, I found some of the caterpillars on a willow tree, and they were just gorgeous. Um, sadly, all the ones I had have literally just pupated, so I haven't got any of the caterpillars with me. But it's a really common one. Um, it's quite hard to spot. This is the one I carried around the supermarket the other day, because I found it on the bush. <laughs> carried it around the supermarket, and put it across town, and took it home to put it with my other ones. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely moth. Uh, you've probably seen the moth if you've had a light on or something, it might have come to you. I don't know, but... And here's another picture of it with its wings open. Very pretty. And their antennae are very feathery and very beautiful. But the caterpillars... I've got some pictures here of the cocoon they make, which they pupate in. And they will literally chew anything up. But here, that is solid, chewed up bark. And it's pupated in that. But it is rock solid, you know, you can tap on it and it makes a tapping noise. Um, it's, it's quite something. But you can put different materials in with them and they will chew it up. I've had one to chew up their own poo and make a cocoon out of it. And there's another picture. Um, that one is, you can see, he's just chewing up to start making his own. But yeah, if you find one in your garden, they're really fascinating to rear. Here's another one that you might spot in the garden. It's not a hawk moth, it's the rosy maple. I've not reared these ones. Um, I've found a couple of the moths in the wild, so I'm not sure what they eat, but they're really pretty. Um, you see them a lot on, online because they've got that cute little face and <laughs> people do like them. <laughs> and here's the different tigers. Um, I've grouped them all together because they're all spotty and all black, like the red. You can't touch the caterpillar because um, you will get a rash. But these guys are really common as well. It's just a case of spotting them. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen them in the wild. Yeah. Yeah? I've seen some of them. Yeah. Recently. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are lovely. Um, a lot of my friends read these, actually. But right, now we're going on to my favourites. The hot moth. So this is a popular hawk moth. Um, I have got some at home, but again, they just pupated, so it's a bit pointless bringing them. They eat the poplar tree, and yeah, I've got a photograph in a minute of how they sit when they're just sitting. This one is showing his like dark red because he's distressed, but they normally look like. They sit really lovely, they sit like that. Aww. And it's a really nice shape. But if you know, you can show you some more stuff here. He flash up his wings to show you the red. <coughs> but it's a really nice moth. And really easy to keep. Now, this is everyone's favourite the <laughs> elephant hot moth. This is a large elephant. Um, you find them on willow herb, which is a weed that you will see absolutely everywhere. Um, if you look closely, you might find some elephant hot moths. So, because the food plant is so readily found, it's an ideal one to breed at home, to release into the wild. Um, yeah, it's very beautiful though. And I think my mum once was sitting in her garden and she saw this snake crawling towards her. Yeah. They get big. <laughs> and it was actually an elephant hot moth caterpillar. bred the small one before. I'm hoping to find some. Um, 
the probably won't because they're quite tricky to find those ones. You've got all the different colour variations here of the caterpillars. So they get to this dark brown stage as they get to their last instar. But they, you know, they go to all these different ones in between, they're very pretty. Then you've got these really distinct eye marks here, which make people think they're a snake. Here is the eye hawker. I've got his wings, um, his wings hidden in this one. You can't see his eye spots yet. But again, this is really commonly found. Difficult to spot unless you know what you're looking for. Um, they're the most different, you know, most willows, because there's so many different types of willow, but they have like this bluish tail stick here. And they also get quite big. And here is his eye spots. Um, I've got, I have got a few in frames, but over on the table over there, I have got some specimens of the wings, and the ones that are really red are actually a Chinese um, eyed hawk moth, so they're slightly redder in colour instead of this pinky colour, and they're slightly larger than the other ones. Sadly, all my caterpillars of this died the other day from the virus, because this is another one of my favourites, because the colours the caterpillars go through on each instar are, they're like a little rainbow, they're amazing. It's not the most prettiest of moths, but when you see it in person, it's got so much detail in it, that it's lovely. But generally, they'll see them in Scotland. And that's in the big, just showing you that for a moment. Yeah, I, you know, I think it's beautiful, but a lot of people just think more to play. I've not bred these ones yet, but I have got some on all this breed. This is a broad border short drop. Feeds on honeysuckle. And the adult also feeds on the honeysuckle. And they actually start off, you see the wings are clear there. When they first decode, which means when they come out of their pupa, their wings actually come in grey scales, and that gradually comes off across the day to become this lovely clear colour. So yeah, that's another picture of one. And it's probably confused it's a hummingbird or not, because they've got that. <coughs> right, this is a striped hawk moth. Uh, I haven't had, I haven't bred these before, but I have got some on order to breed because I really like the look of the caterpillar. Um, yeah, they're both really, they're really pretty. And here's the same picture of the moth, I'm afraid. I find a decent picture of one, but I've not bred it quite hard. But they've got that lovely pink underwing. Here's the silver stripe. I've not bred that one yet either, because it eats grapes. And I don't grow grapes, you know, I don't grow grapes in my garden, so. But they've also got those lovely eye spots. You can see it right there, can't you? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Again, here's another, it's the same picture, I'm afraid. But again, you've got that lovely pinky colour underneath. Now, this is the reason I started breeding moths. I like this one. This is, this is one of the reasons why I absolutely adore this moth. And the caterpillar is my favourite. Because it has this lovely purple and black and white. And this really beautiful, broad, black form here. Um, you've probably had this in your garden, it's the largest one in England, um, the privet. Uh, has anyone had one in their garden before? No? What are the stages, the length of stages between each from caterpillar to the next and then into, into the, uh, the moth? 
Um, it all varies. Some of them, you know, can be two months feeding, pupating, closing. Um, I was saying some I've had where I thought the pupa had died. Um, I've not thrown it away because I've so many, I've, I've learned to keep them now and if they dry out, I keep them anyway. Um, but one I had that appeared after a year and a half wow. and I thought it was dead, so. And then how long do, if they're not eaten or killed, how long do the actual moths feed? Most moths don't actually feed. They literally die within a couple of days. They're alive to breed and that's it. You've got some that do feed and I think I, my death's head speed um, you can keep them alive for months if you can get them to feed because they can be a bit funny yeah. Uh, but yeah it just depends really but most of them don't actually eat they have no mouth parts oh, right. and they don't live very long do no they? it's quite sad <laughs> and she's breathing and then they don't like to stay but yeah you can see the lovely pink on them here it's very subtle, but they are, in person, they are just absolutely stunning. And they're very impressive, I think. Yeah. I'm going to that round. It's this one here. So that's your privet there. That's quite small, actually, for a privet. <laughs> That's the largest nest ever. Yeah, there should be more with the crowd. I would say I've got to warn my guests before my livestock to move. I've got to put around there. Yeah. But it will This 
come off is the Ole Amber walking off and it is absolutely beautiful. I can't, I can't even, it's almost holographic, the moth. And the caterpillar itself is stunning as well. And it's actually going, um, when it goes to pupate, because um, they all pupate the soil, sort of moths, I can that. Um, he goes like an orange amber colour. He's completely changed his colour, so that's when I know he's ready to go into a tub of soil, pupate. Hopefully you can see the colours a bit better on this slide. And there is there is a oleander in this brand, but he's quite battered. Yeah, he's a bit battered that one, so it's not the best of condition. <laughs> Another very similar one is the bed straw, which is, I call it a sticky bud plant. It's the one that 
as kids, you find it on the streets and you throw the bar on each other's back. Still do that. Um, but yeah, I've not found any of these guys yet. There's a hummingbird port moth I eat the sticky bag as well. Got to mention that bit. Um, so yeah, if you ever find them, so easy to breed because sticky bugs everywhere. They've got a little, a little bit more of a reddish tone to their underwing. Um, again, because I haven't bred them myself, I haven't got a better photograph of them with their wings out, and I haven't got any pins yet, because I only tend to have them myself if I've bred them. Now we're going to get on to some tropical ones. I'm desperate to get my hands on. My friend travels the world. Um, he's not been for about six years now, but he used to travel all across the world finding different hot knots. And so some of these are his photos. But I'm desperate to get my hands on this one because it's absolutely stunning in greens and yellows. This one as well, I think that's from Europe, the vine one. Um, I don't, don't know anyone that's had that one yet. Another one I'm desperate to get my hands on is this one. My, this is my friend's logo. Um, I'm trying to think where we found that one. It's some obscure island somewhere, where we did a moth track, but it's really big, it's so beautiful. This is another one I'd like to get my hands on, because it's got the little the blue and the pink. But again, I don't know anyone that's had that one yet. Not quite sure where that one's from, actually. And then we've got... This one, which is a small eyed, I think he might be from America. But again, it's similar to our one, but different cut colours. And then you've got your rocky cap thing, which is American. It's quite similar to a poplar. Um, you know when I said how the poplar sits when he's not bothered by anyone? Uh, they sit like that as well. I love how tidy this one is. It just looks really like a little jet. <laughs> um, I should be getting some of them actually, because my friend's got the caterpillars at the moment. So when they breed, I should get some. Same with this guy. I did have some of these last year, but the caterpillars all got a virus. And um, I think it was about 60 caterpillars. So I lost. This is a bit frustrating. Because they're really pretty, it's a massive moth. Another lovely one because he's so pale. Um, he's not like the others, you know, he's, he's like salt and pepper, is how I would explain it. Um, I'm not sure where they're from, I think it's Europe and everywhere. Um, that's just something I've, that's different hawk moths I've painted. Just to say thank you. Has anyone got any questions? Um, are there other hawk moths, are they all den flame moths only? No, no, they, they, yeah, the hummingbirds, um, they're daytime. Most of them are evening, um, but the really big robust ones you'll find, say, 2 p.m., uh, 2 a.m. onwards, and they will then go and hide. Mm. But yeah, your hummingbirds you'll see during the day. Yeah. What sort of moth is it that sort of decimates edges, puts all that coal or stuff? Oh, oh gosh. Um, I know we've got an ermine uh, moth thing, uh, that goes all over the country, but the hedges that look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I can't remember what they're called because my friend's actually got them in her garden at the moment. Yeah. Uh, you're not, I know you're not allowed to touch them. Because okay. their hairs are really. Oh, yes, that's right. I thought you meant uh, legally. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no. No, you just don't touch them because no. you know. But they, they actually 
We go in a hedge, don't oh, we? Oh yeah. And I've seen them all around um, benches and, and chairs and things, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I just wondered what they were. No, I can't I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um it's one of those unless I've read it, I don't know much about it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I, I do see all these hot moths and a lot of tropical silk moths, mm -hmm. so. It's a, it's a, yeah. Are they on the decline? No. Um, I'm going to say yes, because uh, most insects are. I think in what I've seen, some things have declined since I was a child. Um, so, yeah. But for some of the reasons, me and my friends breed them. Um, you know, we don't, you know, we're not only taxidermy the moths, but we do release them. I sell them online to a lot of schools so they can breed them and release them. Um, I've just started working at a school and I'm going to suggest them in the spring. I can do that at that school as well and then the kids can release them as well, so, yeah. But yeah, it's very sad that, you know, everything's on the climb now, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone else? Could you tell us some more about this fellow? Oh yes. Because what, what? I'm just so nervous. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, 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 he's alive. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, he's very alive. Oh, I can see him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be. Can you sit down? This is a Chinese oak silk moth caterpillar. He's actually quite small, he's got a lot of growing. Okay. <laughs> 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 